Dun, dun, dun. Just being here with this guitar, the one I played on, obviously. Yeah. I picked up that jumbo, but I mean, it's a jumbo, so it's a little different, but the sound push is unreal. It's just. It is. It's like a cannon coming at you. It's like. It sounds so yeah. nice. Yeah, and those notes are so fat, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I was borrowing the Avenir, the 20, the fan fret. Uh, it was the Cedar Rose with the CR fan fret. So yeah, that was a uh, that was a cool guitar for sure. Played a lot, played a lot of shows. And how was your experience with it playing live? Uh, very cool. Uh, so much so that it became my main guitar. Yeah. <laughs> for, for all, yeah, for all my shows. Okay. Yeah, I um, I mean, I have some killer other guitars. Don't get me wrong, but like the one that to play out, the sound was so great, and it was a little easier than some of my other guitars with the, the pickup systems that are in it, so mm -hmm. yeah, I was like, all right, this is gonna be the go-to. <laughs> and uh, how did you notice the sound compared to um, when you were doing sound check or when you were play hearing yourself play? So it, it was balanced. Yeah. Uh, very balanced. Um, you know, I even had a, um, a very, I guess, prestigious sound guy that works at a theater, Anger Rapids, tell me that before I went up and I sound checked, he was like, that's the best acoustic I've ever heard in my life. He goes, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and he's like, I just had to adjust like this little bit. He goes, I didn't have to touch it after that. So I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, proof is in the pudding, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Amazing feedback. And how does that guitar differ from your custom? Okay, so this one is a can um, compared to that. That's what I like to call this thing. It is the wing is dense. It's dense harder wood um, than the rosewood that was on it. And when you play it, it just is like sound just hitting you. It's, and it's well, this is a little brighter. Um, that I noticed with that guitar, uh, the other guitar that I was using. Um, it's got this really, these glassy highs, but without choking the lows, which I think like some, sometimes when you build with maple, and this isn't one, um, but when you build with maple, it has a tendency to do that. It was just all bright and no lows. But because the, the wood on the back, the wing it, it's got this powerful push, it pushes those lows. You get this really cool, Cedar top, mm -hmm. um, which kind of warms it down, everything a little bit too. Uh, which is why I'm surprised it's got so much high pumping on it. That's really crazy. That's probably a testament to the Wenge doing that. Um, so yeah, with the maple, or it's got maple and the walnut, and walnut and rosette, um, and then the, all the back and sides is Wenge, which it's like blackwood to an extent and kind of similar, um, in, at least in my opinion, where it's just you look at it and it's like it's very brown. And then you like play it and you're like, holy cow. <laughs> it's not like a Wenge, Blackwood, even some Ebony's when you play, when you look at them, you're like, it just looks dark. You know, it doesn't, it's not like a spalted maple where you see where it's like, holy cow, that looks so cool. But it doesn't matter. Like, that's not what you're getting it for. You're not getting it for the looks, you're getting it for the sound. And the sound is unreal. You know, it's like I said, it's got that cool look. <laughs> really balanced so it's it's, it's pretty yeah. sweet and I love like, all the contrasting that's happening even inside with the bracing and everything yeah so the, what's really cool too is like the first one of the first things I said to Roger when I opened up the case of this guitar I said he even went to the extent of putting maple in the upper sound hole and just that little touch I'm like that's really freaking cool man. and you see how much it contrasts the dark yeah. the wood. and that's what I think is so sweet about it when you look at it you just see these little little things that contrast it. And, I mean it, of course my ego. <laughs> nah, I joke. But having the having you know my logo as the twelfth uh, inlay, the insignia. Excuse me. 
is, is really cool to see. And you and I talked about how we're going to do that with red. Yeah. You know, how is it going to work? So, <clears throat> you know, usually when you see an inlay of any sorts, it's usually like a, you know, some sort of shell. Yeah. Or a mother of pearl or mm -hmm. something. You know, it's an abalone or your mother of pearl. So that's what you usually see, but you don't see it really in any colors. Yeah. So that's why I was like, I got to do something different with this one. Like, I yeah. want to see, like, what can we do that's really going to make it different? And just having that south of red in there is, is really cool to see for sure. And um, I got to say, when the fretboard is oiled and polished, that red really pops. Oh, I, yeah. I, <laughs> I bet too. Yeah. It is sweet, though. It is very, very, very cool. And so, yeah, I'm just, um, I'm very thrilled. I mean, it's a very sweet guitar. There's no doubt about it. I'm really glad you're happy. Yeah. Now we gotta hear how it sounds plugged in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>